in a free market, the only way to become a billionaire is to create something that people are willing to pay more for than it costs you to produce. But not just some people are willing to pay. Millions and millions and millions, maybe even billions of people are willing to pay. And why are they willing to pay, I don't know, the $500 for an iPhone? Why, why is anybody willing to give up $500 to get an iPhone? Because they believe that their life will be better off by giving up $500 and getting an iPhone. So the only way to become a billionaire is by creating values that other people care about, that, other pe that improve the lives of billions of people. But if you look at the inequality literature, every time I buy an iPhone, I get $500 poorer and Apple gets $500 richer. And our inequality has just expanded. I'll give you an example that's uh, less material that I, I, I find a fun example. How many of you read Harry Potter? I assume all of you. This is the generation. So my kids uh, loved Harry Potter. I enjoyed Harry Potter. Um, so every time a Harry Potter book would come out, I would have to buy two copies, one for each one of my sons. And then I'd have to buy a third copy in audio for me because I wanted to listen to it. And, and so I, I spent three. And then I had to buy, I had to go to the movies for the whole family would go to every single one of the movies. I figured out that I've spent about $3,000 on Harry Potter. According to Thomas Piketty and most economists of inequality, I got poorer by $3,000. And guess what? J.K. Rollins became a billionaire. How dare she? At my expense. But of course, I didn't become poorer by $3,000. I became richer by much more than $3,000. You just can't measure the way I became richer. I got richer in spiritual value. My life is more fun for having read Harry Potter. My children's life is better for having read Harry Potter. And J.K. Rollins made over a billion dollars. Good for her for making all of our lives better and reaping rewards as a consequence of that. So in my view, when people earn money by creating value, who are we to then come and say, we need to take your money away in the name of what? To give it to somebody else who hasn't created that value. 